Hello, everybody. Welcome to online science class. Today, we will learn about water treatment. Can you remember where our drinking water comes from? We learn that our water comes from rain that is collected and stored in lakes called reservoirs. Think back at the water cycle. Water evaporates into the air. It cools down and condenses into clouds. The water in the clouds become heavy and fall down on the mountains. And finally, the water flows down the river and is collected in the lake. As long as there is water in the lake, we have water to use in our daily lives. Do you think the water in the lake is safe to drink? Or should we do something with it first? Hmm. Let's watch a short video clip for a clue to the answer. Hello everybody, my name is Clean Green and today we will talk about water treatment. <laughs> is that water drop I hear crying? Why are you so sad water drop? Look at all the pollution. This river used to be so clean. I see, there is a lot of trash in this river. When people don't dispose of their trash the right way, it ends up here, in the river. That is terrible. No wonder you are so sad, water drop. The worst part is, when people drink this polluted water, they can get very sick. Sometimes our water sources are polluted and this makes the water unsafe to drink. In today's lesson, we will learn about water treatment to turn polluted water into clean drinking water. Water treatment is a linear process. That means that it has a clear beginning and once you go through all the stages or steps, it has a clear ending. This is different from a cycle where the process repeats itself. Let's watch a short video clip to show us the water treatment process. Try to pay attention to the different stages or steps of the process. I know how to help. Come, water drop. Follow me. I'll show you what to do. <laughs> no problem, water drop. What a nice video. Now, can you remember how water drop got clean? Try to rearrange these pictures in the correct order to show us the water treatment process. You can pause the video and write down the letters to show the stages from start to end. The answer will come in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
OK, let's see the answer. First, wastewater flows through pipes to the water treatment plant. Wastewater is the already used water from our homes. Second, a screen is used to separate large pieces of trash from the water. Third, chemicals are added to the water. These chemicals act like magnets that attract smaller impurities and clump them together. Once they are too heavy, they can sink to the bottom of the tank. This is similar to how the pulp in your orange juice will sink to the bottom of your glass if you leave it standing for a while. Fourth, water is filtered by forcing it through membranes with increasing smaller holes. In each tank, the water gets cleaner and cleaner. Fifth, water is disinfected with UV light. This will kill bacteria and viruses. Sixth, the clean water flows back to the environment. What do you think will happen with Water Drop now that she is clean? Hmm. Let's watch a short video clip for a clue to the answer. Now the Water Drop is clean, she can join the rest of the water in the water cycle. Oh, yeah. Clean water. Good job, everybody. Currently, Taiwan is facing a water shortage. One of the ways to deal with this problem is to turn wastewater into drinking water. Taiwan's manufacturing sector has been hit hard this year as the country grapples with its worst drought in decades. With reservoirs drying up nationwide, authorities have turned their attention to alternative water resources, such as water that's reclaimed from sewage. It sounds far-fetched, but the results may surprise you. Tonight, in our Sunday special report, we take you inside sewage treatment plants to see how they turn wastewater into a lifeline in times of drought. You can watch the news clip linked in the description to learn more about this. A question I have. What are the ways that we can help? Here are five tips how you can also help in water conservation. 1. Use less water by closing the faucet when you brush your teeth or taking a shorter shower. 2. A toilet is not a trash can and should only be used to dispose of bodily waste. 3. Use soap that doesn't contain harsh chemicals. 4. After recycling, dispose of trash the correct way. And five, spread the message to get everybody involved with water conservation. Until next week, stay safe and goodbye.